Are you ready? Yeah. Oh gosh. Hi you guys and welcome back. Okay. Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. It is Shay Michelle and I'm so happy that you are joining me today. I know it's been a very, 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 very long time since I've vlogged. I'm sorry about that. Life hits and first and foremost, I'm a student, but I'm so happy that I'm able to get back into it. I am like vlogging so much in these last few weeks of class because I wanna make sure you guys have enough content for me to post basically for the rest of this calendar year. And then we'll go from there. After that, you guys, I'm in the clinic. I'm gonna be in the hospital, you know, going to suturing workshops, you know, how to birth babies, all this real doctor stuff. So right now we have our final phases Honestly, we're in the last two weeks of sit down lecture style class before we start this clinical phase. I haven't vlogged since we started this unit, but basically we're on the endocrine unit and it's interesting. Um, it's different. I definitely want to say it's very different than any other unit we've done just because endocrine is kind of all over the body and signals and the pathways get a little bit confusing just because they're so specific yet so hard to remember. In the next few vlogs, you'll definitely be seeing me try to master that for today you guys of course i had to vlog on a thursday on the day i come back because that's our clinic days um but today we have the msk assessment which is the musculoskeletal assessment we'll just be doing the whole physical exam on a standardized patient and the msk assessment i want to say is one of the longest assessments they blocked out 30 minutes per person it because it is every single joint in your body i'm going i'm saying like neck shoulders elbow wrist fingers thumb, hips, back, knees, ankle, toes, um, and I honestly just did that for my own practice. All of those joints, we have to do everything with that, and then outside of that, though, we'll be practicing for our OSCE, and so this OSCE is a little bit different. Again, the OSCE is our clinical exam that we take, the more, like, nationally taken one, um, but this time we have three stations. This time we're kind of like a real doctor and we have three different stations. Don't know what you're gonna walk into, but you have to perform the, um, just the correct physical exam that corresponds with whatever the patient's kind of illness is or concern or whatever it is that they come in for. Um, so we'll be practicing for that. I have that next week, so wish me luck. And other than that, this afternoon we come back. I am at this school from 8 to 4 p.m. today. It's gonna be a day. But we come back and then we have to do a diabetes case response. Um, I've never heard case responses. I've heard cases, so it'll be interesting what we do, but it seems like all next week and just for the majority of this whole system block, we have a lot, a lot, a lot of cases. Cause endocrine is very case-based, you know, just like it's like signals going throughout your body, hormones and everything like that. It's very dependent on what's happening, when, and makes sense that we need a case. That's all of the class specific stuff you already know outside of class we have. I'm gonna try to talk to a lot of people because this morning I get a one hour break. So hopefully we can get a lot of input from some of my classmates. Let me stop blabbing, it's 7.30 and I'm getting sad because it looks like I won't be able to make my extravagant breakfast like usual. But let's get into it and I'll see you guys at our physical exam. <laughs> Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. How do you guys feel about this being our last ICM day? Bittersweet. Mm. I was gonna use that example. <laughs> uh, that's a lie. <laughs> it's crazy. A year and a half flew by. I thought we we all became pretty good friends. Oh. Wow. Um, it's really nice, but also ready for the next chapter. Wow. Yeah, I never would have. Um, it felt weird, like at the beginning, not really knowing anybody, but it, you know it. It felt really like seamless the way we like really became good friends with one another. And now it's like kind of crazy that we're moving on to the next step. And it is a bit of a step one. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel prepped for the OSCE next week? Yeah, but you can always you can there's always room for improvement, right? Yeah, I think I'll be fine. Everyone passes at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's you feel like you don't know, but like because we learned it so much, it's, it surprises our, it, it surprises me especially when I have to revisit like an old exam and I'm like, oh wow, I, 
I never thought I'd like remember all this stuff, but like I actually did remember quite a bit. So. We have a break right now and I got Starbucks and don't look at me, please. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> okay, but we basically have a break from 10 to 11 before I have my little MSK exam. And so we got Starbucks and I'm asking people's questions. I have my MSK exam and luckily it's with two of us. So it's not as stressful. And then we're just gonna go from there. Okay, still 10 more minutes until my actual physical exam assessment. So some people told us we don't have to do an entire MSK, which is musculoskeletal system. Physical exam, we only have to do like the neck, shoulder, knees, hips. So I hope that's true. But this is the med school lounge that I happen to get while nobody's here because everyone's in their exams. Exam in nine minutes. I'm gonna hang out for another eight. And then we're gonna walk there and be like right on time because I don't, I don't want to start early. No, it's fine if we start early, but yeah, I hope it goes by well. Um, usually these exams are pretty, pretty chill. So not too rough and I'm not too nervous. So yeah, I'll see you guys afterwards. I'm in such a good mood for some reason, but wow, this should be a thumbnail. My musty little skeletal exam went really well. Luckily we didn't have to do everything. Um, because I told you guys all of the joints and everything that's involved with the exam. However, this time all we had to do was the, um, all we had to do was the shoulders, neck, um, back, and then if time permitted, knees. However, honestly, we were able to do all of that in less than 10 minutes and we get 20 minutes. So, it was actually super, 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 super quick. Um, but that went really well. This is actually the last time we'll be in this, like, same classroom setting. So, all of us were like, oh, this is so wholesome and cute. But that's done. It's noon right now. I get an hour break before I have to go back from... I just said a whole bunch of stuff, but it was recording. Long story short, my camera had lost film. But we're back at it. But long story short... It is noon, um, and then I have an hour, I have lunch time before I have to go back for my diabetes case exam, not exam, but the diabetes case study, which no one knows what's happening. But this morning was really nice, you guys. So from eight to 10, we did, we practiced the OSCE. We practiced for the OSCE. It makes it, we had a three, um, we had like a three station system and every 20 minutes, because that's how much we have in each like patient's room, we switched to a different case. And so the cases that I had, I had someone who had a cough and I had someone who had a uh, headache. And so for the headache we did, we were supposed to do a neurological exam on them. Um, and so just test all the cranial nerves and the reflexes. And then for the person with a cough, all of us did a pulmonary exam, but they also had in the checklist a lot of things that went with cardiac. But we already know a cough encompasses a lot of stuff, but in the test setting, we were just like, oh, pulmonary exam, boom, bam, bam. But they wanted a little bit more, which is totally okay. Um, and I was the patient and the physician for that, so that's why I only had two cases instead of like three for all three stations. And yeah, so that was really nice. And then other than that, some people had a case where someone had stomach pain, so you did a abdominal exam and things like that. And then we got assessed again on our MSK exam and it went super duper well. It's noon and I'm just gonna chill. I don't even think I'm that hungry. So we'll see what I end up eating. And then I'm definitely going to show you guys this case study because I am so intrigued on what's gonna happen with this. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hopefully we can talk to some more people and go from there. Y'all, I'm actually able to prop this up in my car, which is the first time I've ever been able to do this. But long story short, we actually were out of class and so, I didn't expect to have this much time. It's 4.06 to be exact. And so I'm actually about to go and get my little emissions smog test done on my car. Then get my nails done. Then I'm going to study because yesterday we had about four different classes or four, three or four. And I didn't do the work for it because I was so exhausted because I had a five hour test. Five hour test. And it was the CBSC. I may be saying it wrong, but it was that test. But basically it's like a... It's almost like a diagnostic test for the actual step one. So we just get a feel for where we're at. And I know I have a lot of work to do. We did that and then I didn't feel like doing anything. So today is the day that I'm going to do all of the classwork from yesterday, today. And luckily there wasn't any classwork. The only thing other than my physical exam this morning that we had class-wise was the diabetes case. And so just to let you guys know, we had four different cases and then we just had to talk about them, figure them out and it wasn't too bad. I was like, oh, I actually know what's happening uh, just because I think this is about the third time we've gone over diabetes, and so I feel decently well-versed. So that was good, it was pretty comforting. I don't have anything to make up for today 
only the stuff from yesterday so i'm excited and i might try to get a head start on tomorrow's stuff time for me to finally get these like errands going and then i'll see you guys when i actually start studying so my beautiful roommate is in the background but we're both making dinner and i honestly ended up in a whole breakfast for dinner type you know mood we got eggs bacon spinach avocado as my old coach would say, this is very California to have avocado on your plate. Uh, but that note, y'all, it is 6.30 and I'm going to eat my breakfast for dinner that looks absolutely amazing right now. And then I'm just going to chill. So the goal, though, is to be working by 7 o'clock and then we'll go from there. But again, we're just going to catch up on yesterday's stuff. We did all our errands. We got our nails done. We, got, we passed our smog test. We're back in business. But while my roommate is here, we're going to ask your questions. So how do you feel that today was the last day of our introduction to clinical medicine course? I'm really sad. I feel like it went so fast. I literally met like several of my best friends through it, which I'm just sad. I mean, I'm happy because I don't love it, but. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember what we were doing last year? Like, yeah. we are a lot better. So yeah. it's last year we started out just being nervous talking to patients and <laughs> our OSCE was solely just talking patient to a patient. Board. Yeah, it was just being nice to the patient. And now okay. we're over here like walking around trying to figure out what physical exam to do. Mm. Three stations, an hour long Three, OSCE. That's crazy. Yeah, so we've made a lot of progress and it's very wholesome to look back at. Oh, oh no, she done dropped the <laughs> Oh gosh. It never happened, it never happened. It didn't. I'll see you guys once I start studying. Finally on my way to study, books in hand backpack filled and echoing through the hallways while we're at it. I am now back in my room. It is 1046, which in all honesty is a lot, a lot later than I expected to come back here. I expected to be back by 10. Um, but I'll tell you, I finished everything I needed to do when it came to like watching videos, going through lectures, stuff like that at around 9, 930. And I was like, okay, at nine because this was my downfall. I'm like, okay, why don't I prep for tomorrow in advance, you know? Who who wouldn't want to prep a day in advance? Me, me, because it ruined me for the rest of the day. Um, but basically, all that happened was I started to watch a 30 minute video. 30 minutes turned to an hour when it came to like pausing, starting, writing notes. And then after that, I don't know why I was like inspired to randomly do you world questions. Then all of a sudden we did two, 10 you world questions that honestly just ruined my confidence as usual. It was just a spiral and that's what brings us to 1040. We're back in our room and I'm just gonna let today be today. And I'm going to of course show you guys kind of what I've been doing, but it's not necessarily on my iPad. I didn't take my normal iPad notes today. Today was much more of a first aid book heavy group of notes. And so I'm just gonna show you guys a few pages. Here's like two sets of golden pages. So first we have, this is all about diabetes. And so you can see I've been adding in post-it notes. And so I like to add in post-it notes when something doesn't, you know, directly align with like that page. So then in theory, if I read it somewhere else in the future, I can just kind of like move the post-it note. And it's easier to write on the post-it note than it is my book. <laughs> and then here's another one of my golden pages. Not really this side, but more like this side. This is more of the signaling pathways. Um, and yeah, other than that, it's kind of like more dispersed notes. That's basically all for my notes. It's not, of course it's not the same, you know, as our, our beautiful iPad notes, but same vibes. Um, but that's all I was working on today. That's basically the gist for today and we are about to call it quits and I am going to go to sleep because tomorrow is also going to be a crazy, crazy, crazy day. I'm so sorry this vlog took so long to come out. You know, life hits you, but you know, we're back. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.